And finally, we come to writing up your solution. Now, scientific writing is an important and undervalued skill. When surveys are done of professional scientists asking them what they wished they'd learned as an undergraduate, they nearly always say to write more. Because as a researcher, there's no point in doing the research unless you can communicate it to somebody else. If it's just stuck in your brain, it's no benefit to anybody. So you will need to be able to explain what you've done to a wide variety of audiences. Now there's a common misconception, which I think is even taught in many schools in Australia, that scientific writing involves using long words and dense sentences and strange grammar like third person passive instead of I dropped the spoon, the spoon was dropped or some fancy word like the uh, food stirring device was accidentally released or something like that. But no, no. Generally speaking, you should take Einstein's dictum and say, make things as simple as you can, but not simpler. So you do need to use as simple language as you can. If you've got a long word and a short word that mean the same thing, use a short word. But writing does have to be precise. So if the short word has a vague meaning, maybe you do need to use the longer word to have the precise meaning so that other people know what you're doing. Now, how you explain things, of course, depends on your audience. Explaining it to a bunch of kindergarten kids as opposed to a Nobel Prize committee will be somewhat different. But for this course, I'd like you to imagine that in your write-ups that you're explaining something to somebody very much like yourself, say, a physics student at another Australian university. Somebody who knows as much physics as you do, but are not familiar with this particular problem. So you don't need to repeat anything that's in a textbook. You don't need to explain the laws of physics, you just need to explain the choices you've made, the approximations you've made, what you've done to get your answer. I'm not after essays, a few words here and there like using energy conservation and uh, assuming drag or something like that is plenty enough. So generally the write-up, you will need to put the, um, the modelling in there generally, so there will have to be a diagram, motion maps, all that sort of stuff. Don't repeat stuff that's in the question. Don't repeat stuff that's uh, in the textbook. Um, remember to put in at least a few words to explain what you're doing. Don't just have equations come out of nowhere. Explain what assumptions you've made, what physical principles you're using. Just a few words will be plenty for that. Uh, and of course, remember to leave things in the form of algebra and check your answers, and then you'll be fine. There'll be plenty of examples through this course of what this looks like.